What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. Today, we're taking a look at my top five extreme units in Dragon Ball Legends. And I want to do it because extreme units are fantastic. Like, they are so, so good and clutch for the most part because they're no normally free to play, like hardcore free to play. Like, the new Trunks that's out right now, grind him up. He is fantastic. He's on the list. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anyone. No, but. <laughs> what the hell, man? Uh, anyways, no, they're fantastic. They're really good. They're right already sparking. Some of the new extremes are as good as sparkings, at least older ones. I wouldn't say that the new Gohan is as good as Gogeta. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch, but still, fantastic units. Got no issues with them. Anyways, if you do enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you leave me a comment as well. Let me know uh, what your top five is, if you got it, you know, or even just your top one. Just me, who's your favorite extreme unit? Because I think everybody can guess mine. But either way, let me know who your favorite extreme unit is, and make sure being sub to the channel, leaving a comment, and liking the video. Sometimes I get those orders mixed up in my brain's like, hmm? Either way, make sure you do all three of those things, give you a chance to win a gift card, $10 Google Play card, $10 iTunes card. Let me know in that comment which one you use. Let's get in the video. Okay, so my one honorable mention is gonna be Purple Pan. And I put her here because there's just not enough female units to make it viable yet. Uh, the one exception is that she works really well with Roshi. Put her with Roshi, smack a red unit on that team like Gogeta, for example. Roshi, Gogeta, and Pan. You're kind of talking about a powerhouse team because Gogeta, is, he's the most splashable unit in the game. Oh, you look, he's on this team. And he fits perfectly. It's amazing. So she is one of my favorites. Honestly, she just wasn't in my top five. So taking a look at her overall stats, she'd be number six, basically. What makes her fantastic Number one, she gets additional blast damage right there. Maiden's Determination. Restore his own key by 40 and Vanish Engage by 100%. So you dodge, you pop it, you dodge. It's amazing. Obviously, you want to get an attack in there, of course, but still, it's fantastic. Key recovery up plus 20% to allies. Key recovery for 10 counts when characters are switched. So if she switches into somebody, they get an additional 20% key recovery. That's so good. Like... Z ability, taking a look at it, it's female warrior ba blaze, base blast attack, base blast defense. <laughs> That's where I mean like there's just not enough female warriors to really make it viable for me. Now I mean you have 18 of her, it's really about it. We're gonna start getting more, I guarantee we'll have some form of a launch, I hope. We got a Chi Chi and a Bulma, I'm down for all of that. We'll figure all that stuff out later, I wanna see Bulma in a car. Screw it dude, why not? Anyways, she's my honorable mention. Fantastic unit. If you have Purple Pan, I do recommend 390 in She fits so well with Roshi and Gogeta. It's a really powerhouse team. Uh, once we get a red female, I might replace that team out of there and have, like, Roshi, the red female, and then the Demon King Piccolo Extreme. Either way. Good, 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 good team. All right, jumping in next with a fan favorite. I mean, it's Teen Trunks. Future Teen Trunks. You can't dislike him. Uh, the second he came out, one, his art was straight fire. Like, he is amazing. I can actually hear the sounds of that slash right there. It's so, it's just so good. Like, it really is. Take a look overall, what makes him so solid? Really good strike attack, pretty decent blast attack, okay defenses, good key restore. For when he came out, that's a really high key restore. That was a little while back, and he's doing all right. 450,000, no complaints there. He does give two blasts, which is good and bad. He partners well with, uh, he actually partners well with Super Vegeta. It, you gotta have a hybrid going with Saiyan and whatever else, but he does partner nicely with him he does give him two blast attacks. That is pretty solid, I do like that. Um, form attack, plus 50% to key recovery. My brain just like stopped, I don't know, it just like, what was I doing? 15% to key recovery for 20 counts. I do like that as well. Key recovery is never a bad thing. Visitor from the future. So these are the ones that really game change a unit for me. So he gives an additional 20% to all allies. So he's basically that green Piccolo. Minus like, I think Piccolo is 25%. But still, 20% plus abnormal conditions. And he's a whole different type as well. He gives blast attack and blast defense, which is always solid. And he hits the freeze of force harder, which is a good portion of the game now. Um, we're gonna start seeing more and more, a lot more Freezer Forces pop up. I want Sorbet, I just, I, I don't like Sorbet, but I just wanna see him fight in this game. I think it'd be kinda funny. <laughs> I just, he's a good unit, I have no complaints with his Trunks. Uh, I wish I had grinded him more when his event was around, but I didn't know how hardcore I was gonna jump into Legends, you know what I mean? So I'm only at just about six star. 
I do wish I grind anymore. He'd be a little more useful at seven. But what are you gonna do at this point? All right, up next, Turles popped up on both lists. He has shown up in Hero and in Sparking because he's a really, really good unit. When this guy came out, I don't think anybody realized how solid he was. And obviously, until you get him to seven stars, you know, it, it doesn't matter a whole lot. But it's his Z ability that really is kind of game changing for me because he backs up Bardock so nicely, boosting up both of his defenses. On top of he has anti super warrior, which doesn't really matter too much. But hey, if you're facing a super warrior, you're gonna do more damage. Can't think of the last time I faced a Super Warrior, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Universal Story plus 45% to strike damage inflicted at 15 timer counts. It's good. The problem with this turtle is you're not really going to use him too much. I like to run him on a triple turtles team because it's fun, but you're not really going to pop out with this turtles too often. I mean, you'll just throw Heart Virus, I mean, it Goku or Bardock on the team. There's kind of no reason to run this turtles, except for his Z ability, which is phenomenal. Uh, taking a look at his stats, decent, 49. But then if you gotta land a strike attack, even that additional 15%, I mean, you're not, what are you gaining like? Sorry about that. Uh, I had to make a real weird cut right there because my cat just shit on the floor. So that was pretty cool. I was like, <laughs> and he didn't mean to. He's been having so many problems. So we're just gonna continue on like that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> gains about 4,500 to his strike attack. So it's still, it's not a huge deal. It goes to like 37,000. <laughs> Like 36,000. So it's not a crazy, crazy big difference. But it's enough to, you know, it does make a difference nonetheless. HP's where it's at, and his defenses are where it's at too, because he does boost up his own defense. His key restore speed is really, really good. He does fit sagas from the movies, so I do like that. It's nice to chuck Broly on the team to give all of them defense if you want to triple turtles team. It is nice for that. When we get a full movies team, we might be talking about this unit a little bit more, definitely. But for the time being, he's just sitting here at his spot at number four. Okay, talking about a unit that popped up on the hero and popped up on the extreme, we do have our boy, Master Roshi. You want to do your Kamehameha? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> no, so we have Master Roshi, and what makes him phenomenal is I know in the future he's going to take off like a son of a gun. I talked about it a little bit at the beginning with Pan right there. So I run him, Pan, and Gogeta. It's a nice, solid team because he does give himself a crazy Z ability. Now, we're getting to a point where the game is kind of changing to the point where that's not a crazy Z ability anymore. You know what I mean? You have new ones that are getting 26% just starting out at two star. So it's not a massive, massive difference. But whenever it does come out and we get a Kid Krillin, we get ourselves a Kid Goku, we already have the Demon King Piccolos. They fit really nice with him because he gives them ridiculous strike and blast attack. That's where it comes in. That it's like, you know, it'd be one thing if it was just 32% strike. Yeah, it's a lot, but if you got any kind of blast units that fit in the Dragon Ball, they can't be run. Both. Like, that's nuts. And units like Demon King Piccolo can really be run either. So, the second we get a red unit, like, I I want launch, personally. I'd be down for a Bulma, too. I just don't see Bulma being super heavy hitter. But I'd be down for a nice support type Bulma or a really hard hitting launch. I'm down for either one of those. To fit from the Dragon Ball Saga. Because I think that'd be super cool. And I need both of them, or either one of them, to be red. Because if you got Demon King Piccolo, purple, this guy, and then a red female character, he takes off. Because the following effects will occur when the tag female warrior is a battle member 30% to damage inflicted, 40% to key recovery, 40% to critical rate. Like, it's wild. What's weird is he actually runs okay on a mono purple team with Tau and Demon King Piccolo, because it's actually, they're all good. And that crit right there gets boosted by Tau like crazy. So it's actually, he's pretty solid. On top of all of that, all of that, 40% to allies, critical damage. So if you get a critical, 40% on top of that. Not to your critical percentage to get crits, but to the actual damage. Solid. No complaints. No complaints here from me. His stats are pretty solid for an extreme as well. Even in this kind of meta, it's very different. Very high natural crit rate. I'm not sure why. I don't remember them getting a lot of crits in the original Dragon Ball series. Maybe that was a thing. I didn't even know crits were a thing in Dragon Ball. Maybe it was. All the original Dragon Ball characters have wild critical rates. So, I'm down. Really good blast attack. Pretty solid strike attack. Good HP. Very good defenses. No complaints from me. You're not going to hear any complaints. Plus, he gives you two fists. Which is good because if you run him with Gogeta. Boom. Two fists towards Gogeta. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Love it. Really good type. Character. He's a purple type. Okay, so the next one coming up is going to be a tie. 
between Trunks Kid and Goten Kid. We're going to lead off with Trunks Kid because I personally think he's better because you can grind him up right now. He is sitting in almost 60,000 blast attack and he's only 6 star. So we got a little bit more. He's probably going to hit 60k. But that's crazy. Look at his defenses. What he Very, very, very good units. And I put them as a tie because they're meant to work together. I mean, that's just kind of, I feel like that's a little bit obvious. 20% to blast damage. Fantastic. Lineage of Genius. Plus 30% to blast damage inflicted. So he's all about blast. Blue, base, blast attack, and defense. That's wild. That's wild for an extreme unit. To have that ability on top of those stats, and he partners well with a little home dog, like that's crazy. Right here, team kids. Plus 20% to blast damage inflicted when tag kids is a battle member. Anybody who's part of a kid group, the kid tag, gets an additional 20% blast damage. Just, it's there. That's it. <laughs> Even Goten. That's the crazy part, because then it levels out Goten's a little bit too. Think about that. Plus 25% to own Vanish and Gauge Recovery when character Goten is battle member. So it doesn't matter what Goten. You can partner with a Super Saiyan if you want. You can partner him with the standard. Just a lower, lower version? Base form. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But yeah, he fits super, super well. And then, like I said, I partnered him with this Goten. And I'm really hoping Goten's a nice extreme one. The next extreme grind, I'm really, really hoping. Because I, I need this little guy. He's so beast. He's only got 49,000 strike attack at one star. Like, he's a monster. Look at his key restore speed at 1988. Taking a look, he does have two fists, which is awesome. Form of attack, plus 20%. So he basically just mirrors trunks. It's just strike instead of blast. Blue base strike attack and defense during battle, which means they boost each other like crazy. They partner so well with Gohan. Actually, Gotenks is probably the way you should run them. But they partner so well. Gotenks will seize two little guys, because Gotenks will cover their weakness to green. I mean, most of the time you're going to see it Gokus and Bardock's partnered together against Super Vegeta, but still, or with Super Vegeta, makes it a bit tough. But he does also get the Team Trunks, but he gets Key Recovery as opposed to Vanish Gauge. And he gets a little bit higher of one, too, on Key Recovery. So they both have their obvious attributes. They're fantastic. Love them. No complaints. That's why I had to put them both in the same spot at number two. Yeah, I don't think I needed to give you guys a chance to guess on that one. Pretty obvious who my number one extreme was. And I. Still, to this day, super happy I managed to pull him. I got tons of Master Pack 1 tickets waiting to do another summoning video. Hopefully I get some dupes on this guy. Because right now, even at 1 star, he is wrecking. Like, he's so He's a sparking in my eyes. You can even look at his stats and they're very mediocre. 46, 36. Very lower down health. Defenses aren't that great. His key restore speed's great. His crit is good too. There's just something about the way he works that just works so well. Obviously, you got to partner with the right units, of course. Um, I do partner with Deborah and Mr. Satan. That's my main team I run. Because you got you want his super attack. What makes him crazy about his super attack, and I didn't know this until I made the shallow video, deals major pierce damage on top of 75% to own move arts, and that does happen for that turn. So he gets an additional 75%. If you have this guy at 7 stars and you're not running him, I don't like you. Okay, I don't like you. I don't know how you would have him at 7 stars unless you've dropped a butt ton of money on this game because he's hard to pull very very hard to pull but form of life is fantastic 15 percent plus cures have normal conditions that's why i run him with mr satan and with deborah to give him both a green and a blue extra in the deck it's fantastic really really good unit no complaints from me love him resisting fate restores on health by 30 percent so he's all about getting his health back and key by 50 which after watching the bardock movie i gotta say it makes sense, because that son of a gun was like dead, and then he goes and fights an entire army. I just watched the Bardock movie, so that's why. Either way, <laughs> Z ability, red, <laughs> yellow base strike attack, and defense. Fantastic ability. I like those solid abilities. It got to 23% when you're at 7 stars. He would be hitting like a truck. Like, I want that. I want that so bad. So, use him if you got him. Truthfully. 50% to key recovery. Plus two allies or win uh, win out two allies. plus two allies are defeated. That's the that's the pro. You lose two allies, and you get fifty percent of key recovery. Now when they're defeated, so that's crazy. If it's, he's your last guy, his key recovery is going up like times one point five. Love it, no complaints. Team Saiyan, if he's on a Saiyan, plus fifty percent to blast damage inflicted when tanked Saiyan is a battle member. So if he partners with I don't know Bardock, it's already Bardock. But if he partners with the Green Bardock as well. That's a really, really solid one because he does cover the weakness of that Bardock. So I like that team as well. Works really well with Gogeta as a third. Solid unit. If you pulled him, 398 him right now, 
and get working on it because he is 100% worth it. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Like the video, like the video, dislike the video, dislike the video. I like to say it as fast as possible so I can get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. Deuces. Deuces.